Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. You are what you watch. Hello, good evening. My name is Hareton Watko. Welcome to our program. Uh, before the rains came, some five weeks ago, we took up an issue called Philippines USA. What this means is basically we have the China intrusion. Fact, China has been coming over and bullying, bullying the country, as you very well know. You've been reading it in all the newspapers. Even if you go all around the world, basically in most of the newsprints, be it from magazines, international news has played a big role on the incursion of China in the South China Sea. Fact, they have moved into the Philippines and taken over a number of shoals, be it for the fishing waters or whatever natural resource it has. Fact, the Chinese military has come in and form of bullying is bringing in their naval, uh, flexing their muscles, be it for their naval fleet, uh, uh, what not, and discouraging if not preventing Filipinos from either fishing or patrolling the areas. Fact, right after the APEC, it was discussed, and China came out with, with a real, retaliatory statement, retaliatory statement, <laughs> stating very clearly it does not appreciate America stepping in into this what we call these these uh, disagreements. Another fact, uh, Obama wanted to discuss these issues, and no less, Japan and now America have come into different positions into what we call some type of alliance with the country. Another fact, of course, is it's already well on its way, be it the visiting forces agreement or the U.S. Navy and the whatnot coming around our shores. Now, does this mean they're protecting us? Well, that may be a different story. But the point is, do we need the Americans? Are we for them in this situation? Now, I'm biased, as you very well know, so I'm not going to hide this. But today we'll go part two. We have former NSA, a national security advisor, and former congressman Roy Logoles, who will be for America being our uh, allies. And to talk against would be Butch Valdez, economist, chair for La Rouge Movement Philippines. So let's get on to this situation. Who will start first? Butch? I start uh, first. Okay. But, uh, oh, ikaw muna, uh, Congressman. Ikaw na mamauna. Anong position natin ngayon? Kasi pinag-usapan nito sa... It's so APEC, and uh, uh, in China, China came out with a very strong worded statement. They don't appreciate the Americans coming in. Now, we obviously have taken the position that we are for the alliance, and we've already worked out another alliance with Japan as well. China does not like this, but the position is, is this a pragmatic move? I guess we both agree it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so, a short statement, why is this pragmatic for the Philippines, considering the bullying and the flexing of muscles of China? Well, it's normal to have uh, alliances. Even giants uh, have alliances, like, uh, for example, <coughs> Japan. Japan is uh, not a small country. It's a big country, one of the top ten uh, most powerful militaries in the world. But they, they seek an alliance. They're talking of a, uh, what they call the democratic uh, diamond, uh, security diamond, consisting of Japan, U.S., uh, <coughs> India, and Australia. Mm. Although they can, I think they can handle it alone, but they, they want an alliance. And in our case, uh, I think the alliance is welcome. Just before APEC, uh, there was an informal, uh, not formal, not informal, but this, there was an on-the-side uh, discussion uh, between uh, the U.S., Japan, and Australia. Mm -hmm. And uh, they made a statement also, uh, clearly sending a message to, to China. But uh, what, what is happening now is uh, China, every time uh, another country would do what China is doing, they automatically object, even mm -hmm. small things like, uh, for example, when the Philippines decided to 
realign, reconstitute uh, our military forces towards uh, Subic. What, what do we have? Uh, some planes, a mm -hmm. uh, few uh, Navy ships. But they started uh, complaining about that and accusing the Philippines of doing that uh, uh, to target China. Even if we put everything there in, uh, in Subic, there's no way that uh, anyone can say that uh, we're targeting China with, uh, with uh, that uh, measly amount of military assets that we could gather. So th that, that shows you uh, what China is doing. What they do, they don't want uh, others, others. Uh, to do. Double standard. Double standard. And uh, parating, parating lamang sila. Uh, like, for example, uh, they grab uh, our territory. Uh, they encroach into the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines, notwithstanding the clear provisions of uh, UNCLUS. But uh, the moment you, you do something uh, to protest, they say that uh, we're being unfair and... Uh, <coughs> Uh, we are violating uh, facts and history, which they cannot uh, explain. They cannot, because historically, they say sa kanila daw lahat yun. Yeah, historically, how can they say history? Uh, now, uh, there was a big accident. Uh, some fishing vessels uh, sunk uh, because of the typhoon. And these are modern uh, fishing vessels. How could they say that uh, a thousand years ago, their little uh, sampans could cross the South China Sea? to fish in Mischief Reef and uh, Scarborough Shoal okay. and to be able to claim that this has been their traditional fishing grounds. Eh, konting alon lang, yung malalaking vapor nila, lumulubog na. Eh, what more, nung mga, nung mga panahon na anlilit lang ng mga fishing boats noon. Butch, your uh, <laughs> well, argument is that uh, uh, the good uh, congressman had uh, mentioned that I disagree with, but I don't know where to start. That's the whole... But the, first of all, uh, I'd, I just wanted to make it clear. No? This is not a matter of being pro or con anyone. No? If we are to, make, to be pro anyone, it should be our own nation and not to anybody else. No? And then secondly, I, don't, uh, uh, um, I take reservation to the, to the position that it is normal to have alliances. Alliances when two, there are two countries that are supposed to be supposed to be at, at, uh, in conflict, and you kakampi ka sa isa versus the other. In other words, pagdating ng gera, kalaban sila, right? Uh, now, when there was a period of Cold War, na, uh, when it started in the 60s and late 50s, at that time, na, there was a movement, there was a group of nations which called themselves a uh, group of non-aligned, non-aligned countries no, and non-aligned mm. nations, of which we were part of at that time. No. Ano well, ano itong era ito? 60s, 50s, yes, 40s? Yes, there was Wala pang UN yeah, They were about... Hindi League of Nations. Hindi, 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 hindi League, League of, of Nations. Meron lang United Nations, pero uh, meron lang non-aligned movements or something like that. And, uh, and then, uh, of which we were part of, right? Why? Because there was this uh, brewing conflict between the Russia and, and the mm. United States. Cold no? War. Yeah, and we didn't want to be part of, uh, part of this conflict by being pulled. The, the idea recently that the U.S. had uh, already uh, come up with, now they say it almost, uh, almost emphatically every time they've got comments, and it's coming straight up from the White House. And, just, and it, uh, it's either you are with us or you're against us. That kind of an attitude is not an attitude of a sovereign nation treating other sovereign nations. No? We but how, how would you address the bullying of China? Do you agree this is fact? Wait, Do you agree no, that they've come no. over to take over the shoals? No, of course That's not. That's not fact that you they're see, already... This is, let me, let me, okay. let me correct this. When did they do this? Of course, they were, there were uh, uh, claims of the fishing area and so on and so forth. But they had become a bit more... Mm -mm. Uh, the uh, the, the last presence had to be... More, last two years, only after the U.S. fleet had come in, in the Southeast Asian region, and actually circled the, uh, in the Philippine territorial waters. No? Only after that, and I'll give you the exact dates, mm -hmm. to December of 2011, when, when uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Obama told Noy Noy Aquino, we're going into the Philippines, we're bringing our ships there, and, uh, and they will be increasing, and, and even uh, uh, General Dempsey announced. Do you Dempsey agree with that, Congressman, announced at those dates? Do you agree with that date? Yeah. 
It's got Five to. Do you agree with that date? That yeah. December 11, or uh, December something, 2011? 2011, and then 2012. No. Uh -huh. Now, from America, and you don't provoke. So here, the cause and effect, and then you have cause is actually in America. But, uh, I can show you documents, no? and I can show you. So the uh, provocation was America, not necessarily China, because well, the assumption this, here is again, China. It, that's precisely the point. And when they came here, statements were coming from, the, uh, from China, and official and unofficial, asking the Philippines not to allow this, because if there is a conflict, the Philippines will be a target. They say this in, in the, and they kept on saying this several times over. But despite <coughs> that, the presence of U.S. in the, in the region had, con had continued. Congressman. Well, first on the non-aligned uh, movement. Well, I, I remember a little mm. history. Mm. Non-aligned <coughs> movement uh, that uh, Boots uh, referred to, uh, that started in 1961. But if you look at the members of the non so-called non-aligned movement uh, nations, at that time, I, I don't think they were non-aligned because uh, there was uh, Kuma of uh, Ghana, very mm. prominent. Uh, he was a very prominent uh, African leader uh, during that time. Marcel Tito of uh, ah, Yugoslavia. Tito, Yugoslavia. Uh, how can uh, then Sukarno of Indonesia was a uh, part of that. Yes. Uh, Nasser of uh, Egypt was part of that. How can and during claim? the time, how can you say that, uh, because at that time, Nasser uh, was aligning towards uh, Russia. Remember the Aswan uh, Dam uh, that uh, Russia wanted to, to Your build. Your point being that in, the non-aligned nations... The non-aligned were not exactly non-aligned. Non well, they were non-aligned uh, uh, non as far as the U.S. Uh, was uh, concerned. Word. My concern but, is... Uh, aligned... Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking historical yes. fact here. Mm -hmm. Unless well, you can dispute the drums, I will dispute uh, it, of course. Yeah. Of course I will because, dispute uh, it. Because uh, at that time, uh, Sukarno was exactly... Uh, well, he, in a way, he was independent. They had some uh, uh, Communist Party problems in Indonesia, mm. but his projection at the time was uh, uh, anti-American. Uh, so you discredit... Marcel Tito was definitely uh, not a uh, pro-American, uh, but uh, uh, he was independent, but to leaning uh, towards the USSR. So you discredit the fact that the non-aligned countries actually work as a non-aligned man. No, it's, a, it's a more of a title, a name. But no. in actual oh, but practice, how, you know, I, 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 how can I, how can you come up and say you discredit all of these leaders of these no, nations and no. say, and say that you were not really non-aligned, you were just really just talking about? No, it was a real movement, and they voted in the United Nations in the same way, ne? are taking certain positions on 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 this but this leaders, growing conflict. No. You don't agree that these leaders were more aligned towards Russia? Tito well, was. you know, this is a perception, uh -huh. you see. It's a perception. Like, for example, I will be considered anti-American just because I'm trying to explain our, our, <coughs> our situation. No, no, you, you explain or, that very well. You're pro-Philippines. No, that's why uh -huh. I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. but, but people will very easily say, no, he's anti-American just because I'm not pro-American in this particular case. No, I am pro-American, no? And as far as, you just, again, look at the Declaration of Independence of the United States, and I can cite it to you <coughs> verbatim, and that is the universal, universal document that all sovereign nations should abide by. Not this kind of uh, 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 attitude, na, if you are against me, you, uh, you, if, if you're not for me, you're against me. So, well, not is exactly, that, but, uh, but you know, I, but I mentioned, that is, that is I mentioned what, personalities who's known, mm -hmm. whose positions were known. Right. Uh, they were leaning against the U.S. to a certain extent. They're trying to show independence <coughs> from uh, the U.S. at the time. Another member, uh, Fidel Castro, how could anybody say that Fidel yes, Castro yeah, is not aligned? Uh, he delivered, oh, there was a Havana conference mm -hmm. in 1979. But, this was after the Cuban... Uh, Missile crisis, Fidel Castro, how could Fidel Castro be non-aligned? But he, won, he, he, he hosted uh, Russian missiles in uh, Cuba that almost resulted in the Third uh, World War. But uh, I should, the only one uh, that at that time that would be considered really non-aligned would be Jawaharlal Nero, because he was also a member Nehru, yeah. of uh, that uh, non-aligned movement. Yes. Yeah, yes. But uh, you're talking of uh, Kuma, of Ghana, 
uh, uh, Nasser of uh, Egypt, yeah. Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia, but, but Fidel Castro of, uh, of Cuba. Sukarno. Those, uh, Sukarno, I think Sukarno was also maybe, uh, we can say that he's non-aligned. Uh, for that, Indonesia. But, the thing but is, uh, to say that they're, uh, they're not aligned with Russia mm. would be a historical inaccuracy. Well, I don't think <coughs> so. Because to, to question the intention of these leaders of, of nations, Nehru, even Fidel Castro at that time, even these people, at the time that they wanted to be non-aligned, no? uh, <coughs> is even, even more of a folly no? than by, by just conjecture on our part now, the three of us sitting but down and no, I'm, not, I'm not making a conjecture. No, I'm, I'm no, making but a the categorical fact, the statement. Fact of the matter I is, cited the... Uh, but the fact of the matter is they were part of a non-aligned movement the, and they in, signed, in, in name, right? Yeah, but, in but, uh, but, but I said... No, you don't no, do the, that the just declaration, in name. Look, the declaration was 1961. It's true. Fidel Castro was part of it. Yes. The missile crisis, it was in 19... Uh, Yes, yes, I agree. What is the significance so how of could a non-aligned uh, non anyway? No, uh, um, it stems uh, from may, the may statement may that may said that it is normal no, ah. not to have alliances. Yes, but not to this extent when there are in conflict. Alliances, if you mean by alliances towards uh, one versus another, no, like <laughs> Russia versus the United so States. So you're describing the statement that it is normal. Yes, to have alliances. That, that it is not such it is thing. Better than what is more happen. normal, what is really normal, is that you consider yourself a sovereign nation state. No? And whether you are a small country or a big country, you are a sovereign nation state made up of sovereign citizens of the Philippines. That well, is what is normal. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's the same thing okay. with them. Entering okay. into an alliance is a sovereign act. Yes. I don't think uh, an alliance would welcome uh, a stood's uh, What I would like, if their, it uh, is a sovereign let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Mm. You, look, you look at the history. In the Napoleonic Wars, there was an alliance. England, uh, the Netherlands, Russia, uh, Austria. Uh, and then uh, during the First World War, there were alliances. There were the central uh, powers. And then in the Second World War, there was the Axis and like, then the, the Allies. Uh, there are all, uh, the only country that uh, can have a really neutral uh, position is Switzerland. Because nobody is interested in uh, <laughs> going there. It's, it can never be a geographical, a geopolitical power. The, Financial the, the, power, it, yes. It's sad that we look at it this way. When you say the alliances are made by sovereign, it's a sovereign decision. Mm. There is, it has to be in the formal way, which is a treaty. No? Uh, which is an agreement of two governments. No? And this kind of alliance, wherein you are allying with one in, who is supposed to be an enemy of another, no? needs your people's agreement. The people has <coughs> never been consulted on this. You cannot just make, allow, allow this to become a military base no? without some sort a of referendum. a treaty. No? A treaty and which has to be ratified by the Senate and so on and so forth. And then the people will, in effect, the people are making that decision. But you cannot come out and I will, as a president, and say, I will ally with this versus that guy no, without your people backing you up. You have to be backed up by people. That is, that is the, what you mean by a sovereign act. No? You see? Mr. President cannot say that. There are procedures in getting all of these things. Of course, we can cite in history and so on. But the fact of the matter, in 2013, no, uh, 2012, no, such rule under our Constitution has to be, uh, has to be considered. Okay, well, uh, okay, there, there seems to be... Wait, before we continue, we're at the bottom of the hour. We're going to have to take a short break. Uh, let me point out that no less international newsprints, all, well, no less time or even the economists, have pointed out that the only solution to the conflict in the South China Sea, or what we call the, the muscling of China into the areas, be it the Philippines, Vietnam, or even Japan for that matter, Taiwan and even Thailand even, now, is a certain code of the seas which they're hoping would be the only solution, meaning a status quo and whatnot. Now, the issue now when we come back, I guess, would be to ask 
Sino ba nauna dito? Sino ba ang provocateur? Sino ba talaga nag-umpisa? Sino yung nagbubuli? The position of Butch, Butch Valdez, is, hang on, the Americans came in, which is why that's the cause and the effect is China came in. And uh, uh, Congressman Roy Lagola says, no, it's the other way around. We're asking for an alliance. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.